Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I want to go over how to customize the ProLines Volume 2. So I've got my template up, and I also have my photos up that I want to use for the template. And I'm just going to go over the basic changes first, and then we'll get into some more detailed work. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my photo in that I want to use for this large area. I have my Move Tool selected and Auto Select Layer and Show Transform Controls checkmarked. And I have my layers up, and if you need to to open that up, you go to Window, you make sure Layers is checkmarked. In the Photoshop version, all of the layers are organized into these folders to make it a little bit easier to deal with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press this little triangle down, start working on the large photo. And the photo is going to go right here. If you expand this, you'll see it says Your Photo here. And so I want my photo to go in right above that. So I'm going to select that layer, and I'm going to come over to the photo that I want to use there, and I'm just going to go ahead and drag it in. I'm going to go ahead and drag it out to the size that I want. I'm pressing Shift and coming over to this corner until the, I see the arrows, and then I'm dragging up. I'm going to go ahead and press Enter and pull this back over. I'm going to right-click this layer with the picture and click on Create Clipping Mask, and that sets it into place, and then I can continue to make it as large as I want. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to come to Curved Small Photos and open that up and I'm going to add the middle picture first. So these are my, this red or more like pink area indicates that that's where a photo is going to be placed. So I'm going to do Small Pick Middle. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to drag my photo in and put it above that area and drag it out press enter and I'm going to right click create clipping mask and it's kind of hard to see with this but you just have to be sure that you have the white area covered up but this is has white in the top anyway so it's a little bit harder to see but you'll see um, when we get the other pictures in okay now I'm going to get my next photo okay so I have this photo here and I'm going to put that one at the top so coming over here and small pick top and drag it in and I'm going to Shift and expand it, and I'm actually gonna. Maybe I may end up cutting off one of these girls out of the picture to make this fit right. Right click, create clipping mask, press enter, and when you open this up, it should have the guides on so that you can see what areas you probably don't want to put anything important outside of the guides. So I'm going to go to View, Show, Guides. So I don't want anything too important in this area anywhere else on the edges of the photo because it, it's possible that it could get cut off depending on where and how you have it printed. Okay, now my next picture, I'm just going to do view, organize this. Um, I'm going to tile this so I can see all my pictures. Okay, this will be my next picture. Now that I've got it up, I'm going to go ahead and pull this back out. This is my bottom picture. So I come to small pick bottom. I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to resize it. Shift, press enter. Okay, and I'm going to put this picture into place. Right click it, create clipping mask. And I have that picture in place now. View, fit on screen. Okay, one little tip that you might find helpful is whenever this percentage down here is something that's divisible by like 25, 50, or 75, you get a better view and you don't get these jaggedy areas that make it look distorted. So I'm going to change this to 25 so I can get a better perspective of how this is going to look. Okay, so I have my pictures added. Now I'm just going to change the colors. There's only two things that you need to change on this template. So I'm going to start with this curve. I come down here and I'm going to double click. And I'm just going to choose a color from one of these photos. So I'm just going to come over here and choose a color, turn off web only, 
and I'm just gonna work with that color until I'm happy with it and I think that looks pretty good if you had an exact color that you wanted to use for the team if you had like the heck hexadecimal color for the team you could just add that right here and sometimes you have to choose a color that coordinates with the picture because the hexadecimal color may not be showing up correctly in the photo so sometimes it's best to just use to use a color that coordinates that's in the picture okay so I'm gonna go ahead and press OK then to change this bottom part here click my move tool come down here make sure I don't have my word selected which I do right now let's come over to this edge now to change this I need to change the effects and I need to click on color overlay and I'm going to click inside this box and come up here and sample this color and click OK and it's all customized. Now let's talk about some of these letters. I'm going to click on it, click on my type tool and let's say we want to change this. This is all in capitalization so I'm just going to